Welcome to the finale of Dragon Quest XI. It has been a fun playthrough with a very, very challenging ending, but uh, let's finish this game, shall we? Cosmos Rare Shroud. Shroud of Darkness. Mercat Shroud. Rerin. Legend here. Legend of Aberin. Luminary of Legend. Adrin, you sword of light. Adrin, cat shroud. But not normal sword of light. Better, stronger, super. Luminary, you super sword. Cat shroud. Dine Kalasmas. Fight Kalasmas. Win. Cool. So uh, we're gonna go and fight Kalasmas and finish the game. Sounds sounds like a plan. Plasmus flute. Let's go. Let's go. Um, I, I have, I'm noticing you. I notice you, Squid. I see you. Hi. Hello. So yeah. Um, yes, I, I can see the point. I can, I can see it. Uh, redeemed. Highlight my message. I, I do see it. Um. Uh, so, that right there is the final boss, and I'm ready to take it down. I am level 99 as every character, because this boss kicked my ass the first time I tried it. So, let's, let's go. Used 100 points to test that. Well, points well spent. Maybe I should have like a uh, 2,000 points, get me to say anything you want with the megaphone. It's a megaphone, it has multiple settings, like... Like, creepy setting. Just a simple setting to be genuinely terrifying. That kind of thing. Um, we're gonna use Space Whale to destroy the darkness. Yeah! Here's the egg. <laughs> we're gonna win. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I can make this, I can make this great. You're in the end game now. <laughs> cool, good. You have come in Dragon Spawn. Hello. Big head! Oh boy. I didn't expect space in this game, but there is a flying whale, so, you know, I'll take it. The, the evil radiating from him, it's, it's almost unbearable. Big dragon, big bat, incredible. Shall destroy the world tree. The void shall consume you all. To even hope to best such a foe may seem pure folly. But we cannot flinch or falter. We are our world's last and only hope. Can we really do this? Oh, honey, you better believe we can. Come on. We've waited our whole lives for this moment. We'll win, all right. He won't know what hit him. Well, laddie, this is it. It's time to do what you were born to do. Ready? I'm ready. Here it comes. The final showdown. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's go. Come, 
children of light, give yourselves to darkness. Soon all shall know the void. Bring it on. I have a very specific strategy. If it fails immediately, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Alright, so. First off, uh, abilities. Um, so we're gonna go to divide. Good start. Bad. Okay, I was hoping you wouldn't start with that, but you have, and that's great. That's not good. Okay, that's not terrible. I have a reason for why that's not terrible, which I'll get to soon enough. It's fine. Okay, so, um, items. We're gonna use the Sword of Light itself as an item, because that pierces your darkness. So let's do this. You look very weird in this color scheme, but I like it. Oh, he doesn't. Perhaps I underestimated you. Not that it matters. Your fate is already sealed. This actually worked a treat for that voice. <laughs> that was good. Alright, so. That is the beginning of this, so what should I do? Let's go with a little bit of a little bit of light splinter, a little bit of bright splinter, a little bit of mmm and a better B, a little bit of mmm and a one to C. I probably should have healed a lot of me. Um, in hindsight, I really probably should have healed me. That would have been a good idea, significantly. Um, should I heal, multi-heal, omni-heal, omni-heal might be a good idea. Eh, let's heal actually, let's make sure we're, we're fit and healthy and all that stuff. So Vando, your turn to significantly raise the attack of a single party member, like Eric. Um, line up, Veronica, you come out to play. I should have done that earlier, I kind of regret it, but whatever. Um, and then I want to do. Where was it? Uh, Fatal Flash. Um, on the Kalasmos. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, that you didn't like that, did you? No, you did not. Ow, that's fine. That's not as fine. It's fine. Again, heal. I got plans. Um, okay, that's not great, but I can fix this. Um, uh... Group enemies. Uh, what do I want to do? How do I want to do this? Um, what do I have? Um, uh, what do I want to use? Let's compare it. Oh, let's do jumping balls. Don't know how it's gonna work. Don't know if it's any good, but yeah, I saw that coming. Just stop it. Don't worry, it's not over yet. I mean, it's bad, but it's not great. It's, just, uh, it's not great. Right. I have a plan. Veronica's plan. Oh, I don't have the doppelgangers anymore. Why the hell is Veronica not doing anything? This is not good. Um, Kaswushal. Uh, I'll attack the Darklings. I was going to use Veronica to do it, but... Uh, yes, cool. Okay, not great. There we go. Um, what I'm after is this. Magic Burst. Take them all out. Everything. 
That's what I'm talking about. Yep, that did a lot of damage. No more magic, but that's fine. Oh god, you are slightly terrifying. Okay, that's not great. That's not great. You didn't seem too happy about that, which is, you know, fair. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, you can heal a thousand, can you? That's magnificent. Uh, I literally cannot... Okay, I can now. Um, uh, Elixir. Restore all of Veronica's MP. Do it. It's worth it. This is probably not good. In hindsight, this is probably real bad. Um, items. Uh, heal us all. That's the best I can do. I don't know how to stop. Yeah, this is probably going to hurt. Are we all dead? Uh, no, actually, we're not. Yet. That's what I'm talking about. Cool. I hope you like pain. Like magic pain. Good stuff. Both your arms are down. That's what I'm talking about. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to use your items to heal us all. This is good. Alright, so we're going to go back to the, uh, to the whole divide and conquer thing. Um, unfortunately, we're out of... Um, MP, but that's fine. Perfect, you're going to oomph Eric. Oh boy. Ah, that didn't do No! Bad, 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 bad. That's unfortunate. Well, it's gonna suck for you more. I'm destroying you right now. Feels good, man. Feels real good. Um... I want to bring back Veronica's MP. Can you wake a sleeping person? Yes, you can. Adam, Let's finish this right here, right now. Oh, the double gangs have disappeared. That's unfortunate. Um, that is unfortunate. Divide then. Feeling good about this. Toodles. I win! I win. That did not take long when you have magic burst. Easy peasy indeed. Obliterated. Looking forward to phase two. Yeah, I'm looking forward to phase two. This ain't over. I'm sure it's not. Bested by mere humans. Twice. But know this. The dark cannot be erased. For without it... Light cannot exist. My body may die, but my spirit shall live on. I shall endure. <laughs> Light, foul 
light hideous. Why do you burn so bright? We might have just beaten the game real quick. <laughs> There's a possibility when this goes on YouTube, I cannot post this part, because it will be blocked worldwide. So, if so, I am sorry. It's over. It's really over this time. The last great evil is gone. Our world is safe at last. What began with Erdwin and his companion so long ago finishes here today with us. What are you looking so serious for? We should be celebrating. I get it. You're thinking of her, aren't you? You want to go and help her? Well, what are we waiting for? Well, I had a blast with this game. You have come again, wanderers. And you have succeeded in your quest. Shadows no longer heavy over the land. Evil has been banished from Erdrian. But if this is so, why have you returned? What brings you here now? When all is as it should be at last. What? He has the power to give it to her? Huh. 
thou wouldst have me return there? Thank you, Luminary. I hope she finds him. She just disappeared. Why can't I shake the feeling this has all happened before? And one day, oh, it's not over. Um, no, she's not his mum. She's a uh, best friend uh, to the original Luminary. And after the Luminary died, uh, she sort of just wanted to go back in time. But she wasn't the Luminary, so she couldn't go back, um, which was the sad part. Yay! We have brought the world back to normal. So is Cobblestone rebuilt? It is! Cobblestone's rebuilt! Awesome! So where do we need to go? I want to take a look around. Yeah, why not take a look around indeed? This is cool! We've... it's fully rebuilt. This is awesome. Nice. Hello. Yeah, it feels like a whole year. <laughs> this is awesome. It's nice to see the place back to normal. It's in this section. I don't know where I'm supposed to go, to be honest. Um... um is there anything that I need to specifically do here? Because I have no idea, but it's very cool to see this place rebuilt. Find anything behind the waterfall? No! Sadness. That's fair. Um, but yeah, that's interesting. I mean, technically speaking, giving her the power of Luminary is creating a paradox. Because if she goes back and tries to save... Um, the Luminary back then, um, was it Earthwind? Um, that's, if she, yeah, if, if he's saved, that means Morkans won't suffer and won't become the Seer, like, the evil and stuff, it, it's just a major par <laughs> paradox. Um, thank you very much to the host, hello Jade, hello Pixel, hello! Um, but yeah, this is super cool that this place is, uh, Back to normal again. Hey guys. Well, look who it is. It's so nice to see you again. It feels like an age now since we defeated the Dark One, doesn't it? Now, let's get down to business, shall we? We've been worried that your life might be lacking purpose now things have quietened down. I see. Do you remember the vision we saw some time ago? The one where Serenica and the Watchers sent Kalasmos up to his prison in the sky? Well, afterwards, 
Serenica took the Sword of Light back to its rightful resting place in the heart of Yggdrasil, didn't she? So, we were thinking, what with the sword being such a symbol of Erdria's newfound peace and everything, we should do as Serenica did. We should return it to the World Tree for safekeeping. Okay, we can do we that. We know how attached to it you are, but we couldn't help thinking it would be safer with Yggdrasil. And besides, we wouldn't want you losing it, would we? So what do you say? Shall we take the Sword yeah, of Light back to where it belongs? Can do. That's the spirit! Right, we're ready when you are, so just let us know when you want to set off. I'm sure we won't be gone for too long. But it's quite a way to Yggdrasil and back. Not if you walk Why there. Why don't you go and say your goodbyes? And we'll wait here for you. Nah. <laughs> Let's go, Yggdrasil. Let's put the sword back. It's pretty cool. I have not seen anything of the Union Cross update, so don't say anything. If you wouldn't mind. Hmm. I wonder if Serenica's gonna be here. It wouldn't surprise me. To explain why the adipose are here. I really liked this game. It was awesome. The only thing I didn't like is the genuinely brutal, steep difficulty curve for the final bosses, like it was just unfair, kind of difficult, but eh, it's still been a great, great experience to play the game. Coming here brings back a lot of memories, doesn't it? It's such a special place. At first there was nothing, then came the light. That's how the books of legend begin. The world was a cold, desolate wasteland. And then light dawned. It was the gift of the world tree. And it gave birth to Erdria, our beautiful home. This is where it all began. This is the source from which the river of life flows. I think it's time, don't you? Time to return the sword of light to its rightful resting place. My PS4 is going nuts. I am so sorry, uploading this cutscene just outright blocks the video worldwide. I've tried to counter it and they just won't, so I will tell you basically what happens. You put the sword back in the world tree, the world tree turns into the Yig Dragon. The Yig Dragon tells you that after they were defeated by Kalasmos, they turned into the world tree. They also say that now evil is defeated, it doesn't mean evil will be gone forever, it will return in some form. The Yig Dragon just doesn't know what. And then it cuts to you in the future, who is actually the hero from the first Dragon Quest game, which basically implies that this is the ultimate prequel, which is genius! I love it! Anyway, I'm really sorry I couldn't show you the cutscene. I hope you enjoy the credits and the true final cutscene. I'm, I'm guessing Dragon Quest XI is technically the first game. That's so cool. What a brilliant idea. Like, I genuinely had no idea. That wasn't spoiled for me. That's awesome. Dragon Quest IV. This was two years later. Oh, and you can tell. Like you can definitely tell. The coloration is much nicer. Wait, what? What's happening on the left screen? Just erasing the dirt. I guess it's like a waterfall or something. Like falling down on them. That monster at the bottom is awesome. I love the soundtrack of this game. It's awesome. So awesome.
I like the palette on the left screen on that one. That was nice. Dragon Quest V, 1992. So, SNES maybe? Yeah, I'm guessing so. Yeah, this is much nicer looking. Wow, look at the difference. I don't know, um, what the, uh... I kind of wish it said the console that it was on, because I don't know um, what consoles the games were on. I don't know if they were on GameCube or if it was purely a Sony console thing, so I don't know if any were on PS1. Um... Whoa, look at that! Also... Wait, also 9... Oh, sorry, not also. The last one was 92, wasn't it? So this is 95. Um, so three years later, you can tell. Like, look at the... Look at the absolute difference between them. Like, this is crazy in terms of how different it is. It were on Nintendo. Well, I mean, I knew the SNES ones were, but I didn't know if, like, the later games were. Um... Because this one wasn't until it came to the Switch this year. Um, I didn't know if the others... I knew that the others were on PS2 and stuff. But I don't know if any were for PS1. Seven. Is this going to go into 3D? This has got to be PS1. This has got to be PS1. It has such a PS1 feel. Dragon Quest V got remade for PS2. Oh, did it? Oh, interesting. Dragon Quest VIII was remade for PS2, right. I, this has got to be PS1. It screams of PS1. It reminds me of Tumbi, actually, and how it looks. Yeah, so this is PS2. Hmm. Oh, look, you can still ride the monsters in that game. That's awesome. I had no idea. Well, it looks like the credits are about to end, and yet we're still missing two games. Oh, wait, no, there's more. Never mind. Oh, look, you can actually be the monster. What? I can be a hamster and a lizard? What? I want to be a hamster and a lizard. That's rad. So you said five is extremely... Wait, did you say five was hard? Um, That's remade for PS2. So... Which version of it's hard? The PS2 version or the uh, SNES version? Here we go, 9. Let's see the difference. So this is 2009. Oh, interesting. Was this, uh, was this DS only? I'm guessing so. Yeah, I'm guessing this is DS only. Interesting. Oh, 9 is the one with the weird difficulty. Look at the metal boys. It's so cool though. Oh, level 5 had a hand in this. Interesting. And then Dragon Quest 10. Whoa. So was this PS3 then? So it looks way too advanced to be Wii. The graphics look too nice. I could be wrong. Is Wii U really an exclusive or? And then finally, Dragon Quest XI. Oh! We get to see her go back in time, yes! That's awesome.
Two lum luminaries can't touch. They exploded. The end. That was lovely. This was a lovely game. This was a very lovely game. Ah, oh, is that Sonica? and shine. Morning, my darling. It's time to get up. Today is a very important day. Finn! Oh, that's the opening for Dragon Quest 3. Really? Oh, really? That's awesome. That's super cool. That's really, really cool. I really love this game. I had a blast. I had an absolute blast. Difficulty at the end was unfortunate. I feel like it's like it's a tradition at this point and they didn't want to change that tradition to make it so challenging. Um, but... Has the game crashed? No. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, it's uh, it was awesome. I absolutely love this game. It's fantastic. Really looking forward to 12 in seven years' time. So... Yay! That was Dragon Quest XI. It was super fun.